In this video, I spar Nick Wang, a professional Muay Thai fighter who just quit his job in Canada and went off to go live in Thailand for a few months to train and fight. Nick is a good friend of mine and we go way back. He got into training shortly after me, so we've been training Muay Thai for roughly the same amount of time. Obviously, I transitioned into MMA while he continued his journey in Muay Thai. For those that are new to the channel, I'm the guy in the blue shorts and Nick is the guy in the red shorts. Beautiful roundhouse kick here by Nick. You can see his shin drives completely across my body before he snaps the kick into my body. I caught his kick, but Nick keeps his balance and stays calm, waiting for me to counter. As I threw his leg to counter, he spins. His spin acts as a threat, so I disengage from my counter. That spin could have been a spinning back fist, elbow, or even a kick. And a nice rear body hook from Nick, followed by a nice lunging lead teep as I moved forward to counter. And I get him back by faking my rear hook and into my liver hook low kick combination. A nice lead head kick from Nick, but I undercaught it. Thinking back, I'm not sure why I didn't go for a sweep. But instead, I let go of his leg and into my hand trap to cross. But Nick catches it with his rear hand and fires back with a left hook. But notice how I took my head way off center line and his left hook missed. Another hand trap into my cross, but this time it lands. Here I threw my question mark lead hook by throwing a jab, then suddenly looping my fist in a circle and around Nick's rear hand, followed by my cross which was blocked. Then as Nick moved forward to get me back, I intercepted him with my lead body kick. Again, see how the roundhouse kick drives the shin completely across the body to create a wall. So when do I decide to catch a push kick or to brush it? I'm not sure if this is how Nick thinks, but see how I landed my teep here. Nick has developed a last resort reaction where when he doesn't see the teep coming and gets hit, he'll drop his left palm under his belly. So as my teep bounces off his stomach, my heel naturally drops into his right palm. On the other hand, if he saw the kick coming, he would rather not get hit at all and brush slash redirect the teep. However, the one thing I would have done that Nick didn't do would be to use my right hand to cup the top of the kicking leg ankle, so catching with two hands, so that I wouldn't be able to just lift my leg up and retract it back into my stance. This is how I would like to catch and sweep. Double left kick for me here, and Nick gets me back with a low kick, and a pendulum kick to his outside rear leg here. And a beautiful sweep from Nick by stepping 45 degrees to the right, hand trapping my arms and sweeping out my rear leg as he pushed my upper body to his left. And a knee for a knee here. And another intercepting lead body kick. A little fake teep and into my jab here. Here I caught his kick again, didn't feel like going for the sweep so I let go of it and into a body cross. I then follow up with an upright cross combination and another question mark lead hook. If your teep gets caught, re-teep over and over until your leg is free. Here I worked my Hadouken punch. I caught his left kick again, but this time into a liver hook. Another hand trap to cross, and Nick kicks me back with his keep counter. A running hip sweep attempt, but failed. This is what I was trying to do if it was successful. Here I land an intercepting knee and Nick gets me back by kicking out my standing leg. Nick laughs at me and I get him back with a jab hook cross. And Nick quickly goes back to serious mode. Nice liver hook to jab by Nick here and a beautifully timed lead body kick as I move forward. Followed by a beautiful inside sweep. Lunging lead teep from me, and Nick gets me back with the rear teep. Then he fakes his rear teep and into a low kick. Body kick by Nick here, and to return, I faked my rear teep. And you can see Nick drop his lead hand to catch the teep again, but I transitioned into a question mark high kick. 
Here I do a double stance switch to fake Nick out again and into my darting cross at double step low kick. Some kicks and kick back here and Nick does the matrix and dodges my rear body kick. Another beautifully timed teep from Nick. Nick gets me with a good jab and I get him back with a straight lead. Lead body kick to cross to double step low kick from me here. and a nice sweep by Nick. Here, Nick gets too close with his hands, so I caught his biceps and pushed him away. And a body cross to rear high kick, and Nick gets me back with a good cross. Here I step forward with my rear leg as I jabbed and into my lead high kick. Here Nick fakes a round kick and transitions into a rear teep and I do the same. Here I fake my rear body kick and into my superman cross. Nick gets me back with the jab and into his left high kick. I undercatch it once again and into my liver hook, rear uppercut, left hook combination. And here I weaved under, framed off Nick's guard and into my liver hook, low kick. And into another kick punch kick combination. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nick is an inspiration to all of us, chasing his passion and living that fighter life. Shortly after this sparring session, Nick goes to fight and wins three matches in a time span of two months.